All right, good morning from where are we? Boxcar Cove, Lake Mead. Uh, it's a whole lot closer to the back of the wash than Saddle Cove is. Well, not a whole lot, but it's closer. Uh, I haven't quite figured out how to get to Government Wash yet, but I have somebody that's going to show me. So, and if we get stuck, there will be two of us with recovery gear and four wheel drive. So, it's kind of hard to get this thing stuck, but not that it can't be done. So, anyways, we're in the tight necks again. And uh, I'm going to go out there and try and put some fish in this thing today. June may or may not be coming. I haven't looked at my phone in a little bit. I don't know if he's still planning on coming. He said he may be coming. So, uh, And that was like 10 o'clock last night, so I don't know. But anyways, uh, as always, I'm in compliance with the Lake Mead National Recreation Area filming guidelines, so let's not worry about that. Let's just go try and find some fish. Stick around. All right, here's the first one of the day on the impact slash. I gotta get this other line up and get another impact slash out. There he is, he's a baby, but there he is. I got a couple minutes to babble here, but I'm almost to government wash. I gotta put out a, a lot of people are aware of it, and a lot of people are not, but we have a, a new tackle distributor around here. Uh, everybody knows him, AJ Gagliardo. AJ got done with being a national hero. You know, retired from the military. I don't know if he retired, got out of the military. And uh, then he came back to Vegas and decided to be a local hero. He's a firefighter and he owns and operates Battleborn Tackle. So go ahead and check that out. There's a link down there to it. Good dude, really good dude. He's done. He does so much for the fishing community and just for the community in general great guy so yeah go ahead and check him out I can tell you right now he's got Lexa 400s on his website so if you're throwing gigantic swim baits and you're not throwing them with a Lexa 400 you're probably doing it wrong those things are freaking awesome reels I got one from uh, uh, Boulder Bass excellent reel so, yeah go ahead and check him out uh, Apparently I made a wrong turn because I am not in the back of government wash. I don't know where I am. So I gotta turn around. It's not as easy to get there from a boxcar as I thought it was, apparently. I gotta figure out where I'm going now. Alright, so I don't know how I missed this. Uh, yeah, it was a little bit dark, but I went over there. I didn't see this point. All these points that kind of blend in and, you know not quite daylight but uh oopsie i'm getting ready to head up into the wash now i thought i was there but it was not so i got one right off the bat i got a couple over there and uh there's a bunch of carp there's just carp rolling all over the place i thought they were i thought they were boils i thought they were striper boils but they're not they're just carp rolling bunches just freaking clouds of carp rolling so uh anyways this is the front of the wash right here pump station should be right around that well there should be a red buoy around here somewhere i should be able to see the red buoy here in a couple minutes but uh yeah there it is the wash that is not the buoy the buoy's got to be around here somewhere anyways we're still cruising. It's a beautiful day out here. Water is 62.7 degrees and it is just flat. So I don't see no June. I tried to raise him on the radio, but he might not have his radio on. So, and he might not be here. So anyways, uh oh, I'm getting shallow. That's my, that's my uh, impact slash bouncing off the bottom at, in 18 feet of water. It does that. It says 12, but it'll hit the bottom at 18 feet. That's the bottom. So, yeah, there it is. 
is this bone impact flash that is just doing it all today. I just put another, you know, shad colored one out. They're not very big. There he is. Um, just has to oh, Auto released himself. Cool. I saw the red buoy, I must be, I think I'm like right dead in front of the red buoy. So I'm definitely coming into the wash now. Alright, another one. I'm going to show you the fish fighter here in a minute from the other camera. They're all about the same. So the fish finder is just like blacked out. Right on the bottom. But uh, he took that. I took it from like 18 feet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and try and jig something up. See what happens. That is the absolute worst that could happen. I hooked that fish and those two boats around me, they scattered. It's funny. But, uh, I don't know, let's see if we can jig something up. Something bigger. Alright, we'll come back. Alright, that's gonna do it for this one. A bunch of fish. Um, up just as the channel going into the wash. Both sides. It's just they were just thick in there. But they're not very big. Um, I didn't see anybody catching anything. They were all about the same size as the ones I was getting. So, you know, and I know they move around, so maybe the bigger ones are just somewhere else today. But I, uh, I covered some miles. I don't watch what I'm doing. I'm not trolling anymore. But uh, it's getting shallow quick, and I haven't been through here in a while. You can see the bottom. I see something cruising around under there. I guess it's a, it's a carp, because there are a mess load of carp in here freaking everywhere they were like jumping right right in front of the kayak as I was going through it's kind of kind of weird but that's what they were they were just carp so yeah um there's a guy in the kayak coming out my jeep's right around this point right here uh, yeah um uh, forget to go check out uh, AJ's website Battleborn Tackle at the the home page of my channel he's the first link where it's they used to say native kayaks and three more now it says uh, Battleborn Tackle and three more so you don't got to go digging for him he's right there all right so check that out peruse Amazon links a lot of good stuff down there I got to go through those because there's a lot of stuff that uh not even available on Amazon anymore. Like my impact slash. Ah, I had to order from Tackle Warehouse, which isn't the end of the world, but uh, I gotta go edit my links. Uh, yeah, give it a share. Mash the little dude over there. Over there in the kayak, floating around in the kayak. Don't mash the dude if you're already subscribed, because if you mash the dude and you're already subscribed, you unsubscribe. Counterproductive. But, you know, if you feel the need, understand but uh anyways hope you all enjoyed my uh like seven and a half miles of pedaling here beautiful freaking glorious day on the lake and uh yeah like i said like and subscribe give it a share thanks for watching and i'll see you on the water have a great day